Hello again everybody and welcome back to Command Modern Air Naval Operations and the Albania Airstrike Scenario as we just had a bogey get airborne from the airfield in the North of Albania, Jader Zadrima. Okay, detected by my radar, unknown as far as exactly what it is at this point. I don't have any kind of emissions off it. Okay, two contacts, so that's probably either two J6s or J7s getting airborne from uh, the northern airfield. I'm going to declare these guys as hostile because I know that's where they came from. I know that's what they are and we'll go from there. Now last time around you saw what the plan was and you saw what we're up against. I've got one aircraft airborne already. It's over here called North Jammer 1. This is one of my PD-808 aircraft. Offensive ECM is the configuration. I just have it up acting as an Elant aircraft. Just snooping around for any transmissions coming from Albania. So if these guys for example decided to transmit anything on their radar, this aircraft would be able to pick it up and hopefully be able to make a somewhat of a classification on it. So let me go ahead and zoom in and we'll go ahead and get some of the missions built and get some aircraft assigned to them and start to take some targets out. Now, okay, two airfields, both defended by SA-2s. I don't think I looked at the SA-2 sites in any kind of detail last time around. Let's see exactly what we're up against here. And you can see the photo of the SA-2, the big flying telephone pole, as they, well, some pe people refer to it that way, famously in Vietnam. You've got the little six-sided, six-pronged star, the typical SA-2 configuration, as you would see from the air displayed right there. And these are, okay, these have the chopperist and the gin sling. So these are kind of Chinese exports of the SA-2 HQ-2s. So the chop rest being kind of the analog to the a spoon rest, the search radar for an SA-2, the gin sling being the, what is that, the fan song, the, uh, the acquisition and tracking radar for an SA-2, I think it's the fan song, but in either case, the HQ-2, it's the gin sling, 80 nautical mile range, fire control radar, okay, so six launchers, one, two vehicles, and 18 capacity as far as missiles, okay. And yeah, again, you can see the range rings right there for the point at which I need to start worrying about these guys shooting at me. So I'll tell you what, let's do this kind of in the order in which I'm going to get the aircraft airborne. Now, I'm going to send a fighter sweep up into Albania to take care of any fighters. Now, I want to... Okay, that confused me there for a second. Okay, this is since it's the Cold War scenario or the Cold War database, I guess we have different borders. So I was expecting like Montenegro, Serbia, and Macedonia and all that stuff. So we just have Yugoslavia right there. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why that confused me for so long. My goodness. I, well, then again, I was like 10 last time that uh, you really had to worry about Yugoslavia. But what I was really looking at was whether or not I want to enter anything other than Albanian airspace. And I think the answer is going to be no in this case. I definitely don't want to have this thing escalate and have any other nations other than Italy and Albania get involved. So therefore I'm going to pay as much attention as I can to not having any incursions into the Yugoslavian, I can't even remember the adjective, the Yugoslav <laughs> airspace. Although yeah, Yugoslavian is, is fine. So let's go ahead and set up our combat air patrol mission. So let me set up reference points. Just one big box over Albania. I'm going to select all four of those reference points. I'm going to go Control F11. I'll just call this one CAP, Combat Air Patrol, even though it's it's kind of a Combat Air Patrol. It's more of like a fighter sweep. I'm just sending in the fighters in front of my strike packages to clear the area out. I know that I have at least two contacts up and probably a lot more later. So let's call this one a patrol, anti-aircraft warfare patrol. Okay, now we get into the Doctrine. Now, before I mess with anything right here, let me have a look at the Doctrine overall for my side. So, I'm looking for, okay, ignore plotted course when attacking. I want that set to no for my purposes. Okay, pessimistic, no is fine. Ignore MCOM when under attack, yes. Air Ops Tempo, Surge, that's fine. Although I'll have to pay attention to the aircraft and make sure that I don't have aircraft taking off again from the bases that I don't necessarily want to do. So air ops surge and quick turnaround. I tell you what, let me set um, let me set quick turn to no. I don't want anything to relaunch on me by mistake if it does RTB. Now RTB when Winchester. I am going to think about this. I'm going to leave it set to no. I believe if I leave this set to yes, my air to air aircraft will return to base once they 
In this case, with the F-104 is once they fire their Sparrow radar guided or semi-active radar guided missiles, they'll turn and head back to base, even though they still have Sidewinders. So we'll leave that set to no, just so that they have their full capability. I will, however, make sure that my guys do not attempt to strafe land targets. I just want them to use their main weapons against land targets. Now, maintain standoff to target, yes, and automatic evasion, yes. Okay, so that's fine. MCON settings, passive across the board, and I'll be able to adjust that in the individual missions. Weapons release authorization. I'll leave these, yeah, I'll leave these exactly as is. I'm not going to micromanage anything there. If I wanted to change the range at which the fighters fired missiles, I could. I'll just leave that for now. Okay, so for my combat air patrol or fighter sweep, I'm going to disable one third roll. I will leave investigate contacts outside the patrol area active. And I'm going to have them go active on the radar. Well, pretty much right off the bat, that's fine. Now, flight size. I want to, just to keep things a little bit more organized and a little bit less going on on the map, I'm going to have these launch as four ship flights, uh, flights of four aircraft instead of flights of two aircraft, it'll still work the same. If I do need to split them up into groups of two, I can do so manually later. And specific MCON for this one, okay, RTV-1 Winchester, no. Ignore plot of course, no. Well, I guess maybe I got to this. I was hoping that when I did the side doctrine, it would just automatically set everything in the mission doctrine to what I set it to in the side doctrine. Oh wait, no, what I can do is I can click this. I've never tried this before, but did that, did that work? No, that's, that's not working, is it? I was hoping that would do everything that I had done for the side doctor. Maybe it, maybe I just messed up by having the mission editor open before going to the side doctor window. Okay, so I'll, I'll take a second here to get this squared away. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all squared away the way that I want it. Now, I'm going to wait to assign aircraft to these missions until I want them to get airborne. Once I assign the aircraft to the missions, at that point they will get airborne. And what I'm going to do is let the mission tick down about an hour. I'll play it until we're about two hours to go, just to get a better idea of what the air picture is. I know that I have the two threats, I know that I have the SA-2, but if anything else pops up, I want to have time to analyze it before I get the aircraft airborne. So I have three hours and 24 minutes total to make this happen. Okay, now, while this is going, I can go ahead and actually increase the time acceleration to five times, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to build some additional missions. Now, so that's the CAP aircraft, fighters getting airborne first. After that, I want them followed up by the SEED aircraft, so let me put some points around Barat and put some points specifically targeting that SA-2. Now that is going to allow me to, okay, I'll select the bottom ones, I'll go Control F11, I'll call this one Barat Seed. So I'm going to make this one a patrol, Seed Patrol. Now I know there's a way, I know that it would work if I assigned the Seed aircraft as an escort for the mission. I think they would still perform Seed if you have like an air-to-ground air aircraft assigned as an escort, that that's what they would do. I could be wrong, I've never tried it. I know that this works, so this is what I'm going to stay with. Okay, so I'm going to unclick one third rule and this get outside the patrol area. I'm going to say, uh, do not. I just want you in there against the SA-2 and anything that pops up right there on the airfield. Now, okay, again, four ship or four aircrafts per flight. And let me have a look at the doctrine. Did this, well, okay, let me try this again now. Okay, reset to the inherit from above doctrine. Okay, that. That might be what I'm looking for. Reset Doctrine, use inherited settings. So maybe that takes the side doctrine and applies it. It looks like it did at least. Okay, ignore plot of course. Ignore MCON. Uh, quick turn, sustain, no. RTB, when Winchester, no. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what it did. So instead of inherit from above doctrine, it was you reset doctrine, use inherited settings. That, I know it worked, but that the text there just makes no sense to me whatsoever. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, MCON settings, radar. I'm going to go passive on their radars. There's no need to have my seed aircraft transmitting. And yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay, so that's the Barat seed. Okay, let me go ahead and take it back down to real time. Okay, hour 54 minutes to go, and this is about the time that I wanted to start getting aircraft airborne. So let me start with the fighters. Let me go up here to Fogia. 
I'll go to the aircraft screen. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm just going to do it like this. Now, I'm going to select the fighters up here at Foji. I'm going to select four of them, and I'm going to assign to mission cap. Now, what should happen here is, once I unpause it, they should start to taxi, and they should get airborne. I want these guys to get airborne a little bit before the fighters from Joy Del Cole because it's going to take the Joy Del Cole fighters less time to get into the area. So I want to have these guys get airborne and then these guys I'll wait until the fighters from up here are about a third of the way to the target and then I'll get these guys going. Okay, so that was the Barat cap. Now I want to select the, or I'm sorry, the Barat seed. Now I want to select these four reference points up here around Jader. I want to go control F11. I'll make this one the Jader seed. It's going to be a patrol seed. Okay, unclick one third rule. Let me go to the mission. Actually, let me go to four aircraft per flight. Mission doctrine. Reset using the inherited settings. That's fine. And I wanted to go MCON settings, radar, passive. And that's fine. Okay, so that's the seed. Now, third aircraft group that I want to get airborne. I might actually get these airborne a little bit earlier. Is the support aircraft providing the ECM jamming support. So what I'm going to do is right down here along the axis that I intend to have these guys approach from. I wanted these strike aircraft uh, specifically from the Joy Del Cole to come down here to the south and then turn north. So that means that I want the ECM aircraft down here along sort of the same axis as my strike and seed aircraft and all the other aircraft are going to be ingressing from. So that is going to be a good spot for ECM. I might actually need to pull it back. Same thing for down here. They're going to ingress from the south, so I want my ECM right in here. So let me make this happen real quick. Let me pull these back out to the sort of the edge of the SA-2 envelope. I'll go Control F11. I'll call this one ECM South. This will be a support flight. And that's all I need to do to it. Okay, one third rule, single aircraft, that's fine. Imcon, I'll, I'll do this manually. I will go active on the offensive ECM, the uh, both the radar jammers and the communication jammers once I get a little bit closer and once I have actual aircraft to support. Now, put in my reference points up here and I'll put the ECM North mission right there. You're a support flight, you're not one third rule, mission doctrine, MCON, and yeah, I'll just uh, take care of the rest of that later, single aircraft. Okay, perfect. Now, speaking of that, let me go ahead and get this one pushing into the area. The PD-808, I think the, I was thinking about this earlier, now the speed, how fast are you going to fly? So high altitude cruise, 320 knots. Compared to, say, an F-104, what are you going to cruise at? You're going to go to high altitude cruise 480. So yeah, I need to get these these jammer aircraft up and assigned pretty pretty quickly. Yeah, I need to get them ingressing now. So this guy, let me go ahead and assign to mission ECM North. And you, I'm going to assign you to ECM North as well. Although you might be a little bit low on fuel. Yeah, you're, well, you're, you've got three hours, 13 minutes remaining. You're, you'll be fine. Okay, and again, just double checking. Yeah, there we go. They, four fighters are attacking right now and they'll be airborne shortly. So, I've got my fighters squared away. I've got my C squared away. I've got my ECM support squared away. Now I need to think about the attacks on the bases themselves. Now, Barat, let me go ahead and select it. Go control F11. I'll call this... Barat Runway Strike. It's going to be a strike, land strike, and I'm going to create two strike missions for each base. One for the runway and one for the runway intersections. So flight size, four aircraft. I'm not going to enable the auto off angle attack auto planner. Sometimes if you do that and we're kind of going to be on the, the outskirts of the fuel capability. Sometimes if you enable this, it I think creates a path that is a lot longer than what you get when you just leave it not checked because now it's just going to calculate a straight shot there and back as opposed to just a a circular 
sort of a circuitous route, and I don't think that it's going to allow those aircraft to launch just due to fuel constraints if I use the auto planner. So I'm going to have to pay attention and manually manipulate the flight paths to make it match my plan as we go as I've got my fighter aircraft airborne from Foggia. So let me select everything other than the runway for this one and remove it. So that's just going to have them taking out the main runway and that target only. Now, Mission Doctrine, let me go ahead and pull the Doctrine down from the side Doctrine. With the exception of RTB when Winchester, I'll leave that set to yes. And I wanted to do that for the, well, I, I'll, I won't worry about the seed aircraft. They'll, they'll RTB once they drop their bombs anyway. And it's not really going to matter because once they're down to gun, they'll, they'll RTB no matter what. And that's fine. Now, same thing. Control F11, Rat Intersection Strike. So, Strike, Land Strike. Going to remove everything except for the runway access points or the runway and taxiway intersections. I'll remove the control tower. Mission Doctrine, pull it down from up top. RTB, yes. And that's it. Now, same thing up here for Jader. Control F11. Jader Runway Strike, Strike, Land Strike, okay, everything except the runway comes off of this one. Doctrine, pull down from up top, got it, Control F11, Jader Intersection Strike, Strike, Land Strike, okay, remove everything except for the access points, Mission Doctrine, pull from the top, and... That's that. Now, all I have to do is, in sequence of when I want these guys to get airborne, start to get guys airborne. So, I've got these fighters coming out. They are hanging out at 40,000 feet. They've got their afterburner plugged in, so they are serious about getting in there and running this intercept. I don't necessarily think I need them or want them with their afterburner. I'm going to manually take over. It's fine to go out there at uh, full power, but no, you're going to run out of fuel if you keep doing that. So that's fine. Now I can go ahead and come down to Geo del Cole and get the fighters. I had, yeah, four more down here. I'll assign these to the cap and get these going. And I also want to, let me see, I'll wait just a little bit to get the rest of that going now. Okay, North Jammer 2. Okay, these are the ECM aircraft going out there on station. I can get the Seed aircraft going in for up north at this point now, so let me go ahead and go to Foggia Aircraft. I'm going to run out of aircraft up here, aren't I? Okay, so I'll think about, let me see, I've got seven aircraft total down here. I'm only going to use six of them. I'll just leave one as a spare. And I've got down here at Joy del Cole, I've got eight Strike Aircraft F-104s. I have the four fighters that I have getting airborne right now, two jammers, and eight genas. I'll tell you what, let me try to assign these genas to the Jader Seed. I think they'll I think they'll be within range. If not, I'll just retask them on to Barat. So I'll be able to tell here in a little bit, but in either case, okay, now well, let me go ahead and get four of these assigned to from Foggia to the Jader runway. Two of them assigned to the runway intersections. Okay, that's, yeah, that, that's fine. That'll work, that'll work. And I've got one as a spare, and I know it's not modeled, I, and it's probably taking this whole thing a little bit too far to even do it, but I'm going to leave one aircraft as a spare because what would happen here is, like in this case, okay, I have a squadron that's getting six aircraft airborne. Chances are, if the chances would be very, very high that one of these aircraft would have some sort of a maintenance problem and just would not be able to get airborne. So I would have one aircraft set aside as a spare so that the pilot could shut down and just take everything over to the other aircraft and get into it, start it up, and fly on on the mission. So that's why I'm leaving this one down and I have another one up here, another spare for the fighters. Although it's, I, I'm almost positive it's not modeled and it doesn't really work that way in command, but... Now that's why I'm not tasking like an odd number of aircraft up into the the missions as we go. 